Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brother Muslim. And I say hi to everybody in here. I just say assalamu alaikum in tradition in Islam. And I'm here in this meeting. Also, I'm not Somalian, but I am Muslim, like the sisters say. This is concerning everybody. Because I'm from Mauritania, you guys say a story from, from Somalia, that's true. Same on me in, in Mauritania. Because everyone who knows about West Africa in Mauritania, we do have discrimination. Even as today, as black person, you have a kid. You cannot have uh, set, uh, birth certificate to sign if you don't pay. Because we're not, have, we're not running the government. Mm. Then, back in 1998, my uncle come to here in the United States. Then he see the opportunity. He's the one who loved me like father. Then he helped me to come here. And I'm being here 12 years and working so hard. Last four years, I work in Alaska for 16 hours. And I pay all my federal taxes and all everything. And I can volunteer to anyone, police or FBI or anyone. My background is clean. I never been rest. The worst thing I never have in United States is ticket for driver license. <laughs> That's the only thing I ever have. I still have my license from Ohio. I live Ohio for eight years. I started coming in Seattle from 2006. And I can read, I can write English, but I always watch news. But it's hurt me the first thing, the first thing, because this free country, it's free speech. It's hurt me when I see the Republican, all this campaign, this midterm, all their campaign is campaigning about Muslim. Mm -hmm. The ground zero mosque mm -hmm. and the Muslim bad thing. Even President Obama, they don't talk about his career, what he done or what he not. But they always trying to say he's Muslim, look like Muslim is evil. Mm. That's hurt us so bad. That's true. We choose this country for opportunity. <laughs> but we don't want to be treated like a dogs. We don't like that. No, and the impact. And the important thing, this free country for every religion. If something happened here, a lot of shooting going on every time. Even two days ago we celebrate, four officers was gone down. Somebody not Muslim. But after he done, do somebody go to church and ask the media in the church because he's shooting? Why it's honestly, we more than billion people in this world. Not everybody perfect. I'm not going to go to about this case terrorist because I don't know nothing about it. I'm not going to lie. But why billion people, if one person do bad thing, cover it all the media. But our good people, we never see it on the TV. We have here doctors. We have here teachers, Muslim, not just the Somalian. We have people from Pakistan, mm -hmm. doctors, Andrea, everywhere in the world. We never see the covering about that. All they cover about Muslim is clean. And serial people, they say we treated women bad. No. We treated women good. Any woman Muslim, you know about Sayyidina Aisha. If you go, if you go to in the Quran, it's translation in English. Or sometimes you can have some video. It's being translated in seven languages. We respect women more than thousand years. Maybe I can read, I can write, but I know the history of this country before I come here. Because women start voting here not more than 100 years yet. Because Hillary Clinton, she born her mom cannot vote. She said that, I see it on the TV. She said, I born my mom cannot vote, but today my daughter can vote for me. <laughs> but we, women have voice back in 1,000 years ago. We have civilization before the United States. But we do respect the United States. We love the United States and we want to be here. Please, please, don't treat us like that. We love this country. We come here for opportunity. But we don't want to treat it like that. Thank you. Thank you. So.